Alright, the lesson finale of uh, Unit 4, Roots and Powers, is uh, applying the exponent laws. We're going to use all those exponent laws that you would have learned uh, last year in Grade 9. We're going to kind of bring everything into, into one here. So we're going to have uh, negative uh, exponents, we're going to have fractional exponents. You're going to see, uh, if you flip through to the last page, that we're going to be getting to some uh, questions that look more of Grade 10 level. They're going to be a little bit uh, scary when you first take a gander at them. All right, so just to review uh, your uh, exponent laws, uh, I want to walk you through those because we're going to be using those uh, in the examples to follow here. So first one that uh, we have is we have the product of powers. Product of powers says when you have base A raised to the power of M times base A raised to the power of N, we can, of course, add the exponents together to give you M plus N. When we have the same thing yet with just quotients, we can say that we have A to the power of M when it's divided by a to the power of n, what do we do with those? Well, that's when we subtract our exponents. All right, so this should all be review from last year. We now have a to the power of m all raised to the power of n. So what happens when you have an exponent to an exponent? Well, we simply multiply those exponents together. Okay. Uh, the power of products, uh, that's something that uh, you guys have also done. When you have a, b, all raised to the power of m, we can assume that that m has been applied to the a and the b and say that we have a to the power of m times b to the power of m. And lastly, we have that same one, but basically just with uh, fractions, quotients here. a divided by b all raised to the power of m is equal to a to the m all divided by b to the m. Uh, and I guess we do need to clarify that b cannot be 0 here because we cannot be dividing by 0. Uh, so let's, uh, let's try a couple of these and uh, get you guys on your merry little way. So what is the value of the following when you substitute in a negative 3 and a 2? Well, my suggestion here is imagine if you had gone and substituted in a, a negative 3 in for a to the 6 and then a 2 in to the power of 9. These numbers are going to get huge and it's going to be quite nasty. The beauty is you guys now know how to simplify um, these type of questions first. So that's what I would encourage you to go do. All right. So using those uh, exponent laws that you had above here, what I'm going to do personally, and there are many, many, many different ways to do this type of question, uh, I'm going to simplify inside my brackets first. So the part I'm going to deal with is these a's. a to the 6 all over a to the 5th is the same thing because those, uh, when you have the same base and they're divided, the uh, exponents subtract, that is just a a, a to the power of 1. And the same thing I have with the b. This is just b to the power of 1. So now I've simplified this to be all a b to the power of negative 2. Well, that's a heck of a lot easier. What do you remember you have to do with a negative exponent? We have to take the reciprocal. So now we have 1 ab all squared. So now what we can do is we can substitute these in. We can now go 1 over negative 3 squared and 2 squared. It's going to give you 1 over negative 3 squared is 9 times 4 gives you 1 over 36. So that's an example of how you can use your exponent laws to simplify something uh, before it gets too out of hand. So we can use exponent laws to simplify expressions that uh, contain rational number bases. It is a convention to write a simplified power with a positive exponent. And so what they mean right here, and this is what we're going to be addressing on the next page, is let's say your final answer was like... Um, 7 raised to the power of negative 2. Let's say somehow that was your final answer. I don't ever want you leaving an answer like that for me. And so when you write your provincial exam, they'll never have like final answers like that. Instead, what you would do is you would write this. You'd get rid of the negative exponent. You'd say that my final answer is 1 over 7 squared, perhaps like that. All right? So we're always going to get rid of the negative exponents. I'll give you some practice on the next page as to uh, how we'll go about doing that. All right, a couple more examples using our uh, exponent laws. So for this next one right here, we uh, it just says simplify by writing as a single power. So that's all we need to do. We don't really need to solve and uh, write what this is as a decimal. We just want to write it as a single power. So when we have the same bases and they're being multiplied like so, we simply just add the exponent. So we have 0.3 now, all raised to the power of negative 3 plus 5, which just gives you 0.3 squared. Pretty easy. These you guys may be able to uh, to bomb through on your own. That's fine by me. The next one. 
Well, when you have a power to a power here, we simply just multiply those. So we have negative 3 over 2, all raised to the power of negative 8. And on the other side, we have the same thing. Negative 3 over 2, this time 3 times 2 gives you 6. Well, since these bases are the same right here, you can combine the powers. We can say that this is, since they're being multiplied right here, we can add those. So we have negative 8 plus 6. And we simplify that, that just gives me negative 3 over 2, all raised to the power of negative over 2. Now here is an example, all right? And so maybe I'll just write a little note here. Must get rid of negative exponent. So it's really quite easy how you do that, right? We're just going to, as we explored in the lesson before, take the reciprocal. So this just changed to be negative 2 over 3, all squared. All right. Now you might be wondering, well, why am I not writing that as 4 over 9? I appreciate that that is going to be 4 over 9, but in the initial question they said just to write it as a single uh, power. Okay. Keep on rolling. Uh, these ones are C anyways, it's a little bit easier. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll just simplify my uh, numerator first. Um, so what I'll do is I'll write this as 1 fourth. All right, for C, what I notice is that they're all to the same base. So since the numerator is being multiplied, I'm going to add those exponents. And since the uh, denominator is being subtracted, I'll subtract that exponent. So I basically just have here 1 quarter, and this is where you got to be a little bit careful. I have the 3 plus the 4. And then remember, when we're dividing, you subtract. So it's kind of the double negative here. You have the minus negative 2. This simplifies to be 1.4. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 minus the negative 2 gives you 1.4 to the power of 9. All right. Next one. Well, what I'm going to choose to do here is simplify everything in the brackets first. So I see again that because these are all uh, to the same base, they all have a 7, I'm going to write this as 7. And now I have 2 thirds minus, keep in mind here, I'm going to use brackets for random numbers. This is 1 third plus 5 thirds. The reason I have to have brackets there is um, when we are subtracting, we're subtracting the entire denominator right there. So I'll simplify my brackets first. This should technically all be to the power of 6. I have 7 to the 2 thirds minus, and I'll simplify that bracket as being 6 thirds, like so. And now I have 7 to the power of negative 4 thirds, all raised to the power of 6. And uh, now, right here, it's kind of up to you how you want to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the 6 in first here. So I have 7, all raised to the power of negative 24 over 3. And the beauty of that is negative 24 over 3, that does simplify. That 24 is divisible by 3, so we have negative 8. And as you remember, this is an example, again, of one where you've got to get rid of that negative exponent. So we simply just have 1 over 7 to the power of 8 as your solution. Uh, the granddaddies of them all, my favorite, are on the next page. Let's uh, give these ones a try. These ones, what we're doing is we're simplifying algebraic expressions with integer exponents this time. All right, so still using our, uh, our power rules. So noticing right here, these brackets, to be honest, they really don't even mean anything. There's, like a, there's a multiplication sign in between all these, so we're just going to use that rule. So what we can say is that this is equivalent to x to the power of 5, right? We add our, um, our radicals like so. Sorry, our radicals are exponents. And when we have y squared and a y to the negative 4, we're going to add those as well. That gives me y to the power of negative 2. And recall that we cannot have a negative exponent, so we need to take the reciprocal of that. Well, the reciprocal basically just means that that's going to fall down into the denominator. And that would be your solution. Next one we have here. Uh, we have 10 divided by 2. That gives me 5. a to the fifth and a squared, that's going to give me a to the 3 b to the 3, remember this is the double negative, b3 minus the negative 2 gives you b to the 5. Okay. A lot of these students like because they can rock through them pretty quickly. Now, this is what I was saying is uh, where you kind of combine all the information that we've learned throughout this uh, unit. This says 8, a cubed, b to the 6, all to the power of 1 third. Well, recall what 1 third means. That really means the cube root. Well, we know what the cube root of 8 is. It is... Now when you take uh, exponent to an exponent, you just multiply those. What's a third of 3? That's just a. A third of 6 gives you b squared. Okay, you can't tell me that that's not fun. That is just amazing. Good times. 
Uh, very similar to the one that we did up here in this question, only now we have uh, fractional uh, exponents. Well, again, we're just going to add those. So this becomes x to the power of uh, 4 over 2, y to the power of just 1, and of course 4 over 2, that does simplify to give you x squared y. All right. C and D, these ones uh, are good times. Uh, why don't you guys try these on your own? Uh, see if you can make the way your way all the way through, and then see uh, if your answer is the same as mine. So you might want to pause the video here. So I'm going to go 4 divided by 2, it just gives me 2. This is going to give me, I have a to the negative 2 minus a to the 2. That gives me a to the negative 4 for now. The reason I say for now is because, of course, it's negative. This gives me b to the 2 thirds minus b to the 1 third. That gives me b to the 1 third. And that would be a fine answer with the exception that we've got to get rid of that negative exponent. So we have 2, b to the 1 third. That all stays in the numerator. And the a to the 4th will come down here. Okay. The next one. I always like to simplify what's in my uh, brackets first. So I'm going to go 100 divided by 25. That gives me 4. Right. I'm going to uh, deal with the exponents here with the a's. a minus a to the fifth gives me a to the negative 4. Okay. And now the b. This is where it can become kind of confusing. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the b up to the numerator. Well, imagine what that would be. If it's negative down here, and when I take the reciprocal of it, it would then be positive up here, so it comes b to the 1 half. All right. That part right there, you may want to make note about. You may need to ask me about that, uh, that part, how that came up to the top. And simply it was just because uh, when you flip it back up to the top here, when you take the uh, reciprocal of it, it becomes a positive 1 half. Now what I'll do from here is because I've simplified everything in my brackets, I'll apply this one half uh, power. One half of four. Well, don't think of it as it's half of four. It's actually the square root of four, which turns out to be two. This will give me an a. Remember, I multiply these, so it's negative four times the one half that gives me negative two. And one half times one half is one quarter. That would be a good answer with the exception that we have the negative exponent, so we have to get rid of that. It becomes two. b to the one quarter all over a squared as your final solution. All right, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that one. That concludes your uh, unit four on uh, roots and powers.